I'm Daniel Engel and I'm working at the University Hospital Essen in Germany. My research group investigates the mechanisms that regulate the dynamic processes of the immune system and we are doing this during inflammation and infections. In the study presented here, we have investigated the mechanisms that regulate intestinal peristalsis during post-operative ileus. In this disease, patients suffer from reduced contractility of the entire intestinal tract, which increases the risk of sepsis. From a previous study, we knew that postoperative ileus, which is the most frequent complication after intestinal surgery, depends on dendritic subs. In the current study, we have investigated the mechanism that activate these cells and moreover we have accessed the contribution of the intestinal microbiota for the poor induction. Postoperative ileus was induced by manipulating the small intestine. The disease severity was analyzed by the distribution of orally applied Fitz dextrin and also by measuring the excretion time of a retrogradely inserted glass ball. After inducing postoperative ileus, we isolated the intestinal muscularis and quantified dendritic cells by flow cytometry. After inducing postoperative ileus, we found numerous CD103, CD11B positive dendritic cells in the intestinal muscularis. These cells were dependent on the transcription factor IR4 and like all these cells in CDMC Cre IR4 flox animals, ameliorated the postoperative ileus. Importantly, antibiotic treatment reduced the activation of dendritic cells, monocytes, and macrophages, and thereby ameliorated postoperative ileus. Hence, the crosstalk between intestinal microbiota, with the different subtypes of myelid cells, regulates intestinal peristalsis during postoperative ileus. Our findings reveal that IR4 dependent dendritic cells and the intestinal microbiome are crucially involved in the activation of monocytes and macrophages and also in dysregulating the intestinal peristalsis during postoperative ileus. We propose that modifying the intestinal microbiome might impact on clinical practice in the foreseeable future. We thank you very much for listening and we hope you enjoy reading our paper.